Helping your customers come across well on camera is one of the most important roles you have as a filmmaker. The more you can put them at ease, the better your video is going to look and feel, and the less mistakes that they make, the less editing that you are going to have to do. It can be very tempting to want to bring an auto cue to every shoot, and why wouldn't you? Your client's script right in front of them, all they have to do is read. That's a great solution, right? Auto cues work best when you have a specific script to work from, or when you're working with clients, especially larger companies, with marketing departments who are more particular about how they come across. They also allow you to write up a script beforehand and have it checked before you arrive on site, which also gives your interviewee a chance to read over and learn the script. These scenarios where you have time to sit and plan are where auto cues really shine. On the flip side, some clients may have questions prepared for the interviewees rather than a dedicated script. In these scenarios, it can often be better to leave the auto cue at home and talk directly to the subject. This allows for a more conversational style of interview and can often make the subject feel more natural on camera. If you're interviewing multiple people, and especially if your interviews are in different locations, you might find an auto cue slows things down dramatically. A small auto cue may only require a tablet and screen to use, but large auto cues may need a laptop or even a member of the crew to operate. Couple this with the time for changing scripts in between interviews and you might find yourself spending two or three times as much time filming. It's also important to bear in mind that reading from an auto cue is a skill in and of itself. Some people take to it like a duck to water, but you may find yourself repeating takes over and over again. Some people have a habit of leaning in to read or over exaggerating their eye movements as they read down the lines. This defeats the whole point of the auto cue and you can end up with a worse result because of it. If you want to use an auto cue for a shoot, go for it. Just make sure you've put in the planning time for scripting, scouted the location and vetted your talent beforehand. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to see more videos like this one. Thank you.